Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Hester. Welcome. You know, we all have times that are seared into our brains. And for me, one of those is December 1993. That was the month of what's been called the miracle on orbit, when over the course of eh, about a week and a half, and if I remember correctly, five spacewalks, space shuttle astronauts fixed the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, I was a member of the team that was responsible for the camera that ultimately saved Hubble, and by the time launch rolled around, I felt like I'd been living on airplanes for years. So launch was finally here. It was scheduled for December 2nd, if I remember correctly. And so late November, I found people to cover my last few classes. I uh, gave my final exam to a graduate student to administer. I hopped on an airplane and off to Florida for the launch. Fast forward the clock, three very hectic and exciting weeks later, I'm back in Phoenix, and I'm only here for a few days. I, I came back for Christmas, but I had to be back on the East Coast well before the new year. And so here we are at the airport. My wife had brought our kids, our three daughters, to pick me up. And the airport was really busy. And so my youngest daughter turned to my wife and said, why are there so many people here? My wife turned to her and calmly said, sweetheart, these people are all here picking up relatives who are visiting for the holidays, just like we are. Now, if we were having this conversation face to face, at this point you'd probably stop me and tell me your own version of that story. Because while the details vary, I don't think I've ever spoken to a professional who doesn't have a story like that to tell. I mean, face it, you can be on top of the game, on top of your field, but I just don't remember the classes where they told us how to run a lab, run an office, deal with sticky personnel issues, serve on committees, administer funds, write grants, schmooze with the right crowd, and do two dozen other things at the same time, all while trying to excel in a challenging and rapidly changing field, working in what is very likely a highly competitive and politically charged environment. And then let's not forget the house and the family and the whole rest of your life. A colleague put it very well when she said that they train us as racehorses and then they shackle us to plows. After 30 years in the game, I would love to say that it gets easier as time goes by, but if I did, I'd be lying. Of course, all of this, it's not just professionals. It applies to everyone from small business owners to corporate executives and everybody in between. It is possible to succeed in a career while also finding some balance in your life, but we all know that it's not easy. And it sure doesn't happen by itself. The good news is that you don't have to do it alone. When a reporter for Fortune magazine asked, what's the best single piece of advice you ever got? Eric Schmidt, who's the chairman and former CEO of Google, didn't have to think for a second about his answer. He said, get a personal coach. He's not alone in that assessment. Quoting the editors at uh, Fast Company, if you're not getting better, then you're falling behind. To elevate your game, find the personal coach with the right strategy and style for you. Over about the last decade, coaching has become the go-to strategy for top executives all over the world. But for the most part, it's new to professionals. I, to be honest, a lot of the professionals that I talk to have never even heard of coaching, much less have a good understanding of how coaching works or what it could do for them. And that's really unfortunate because as a group, today's professional probably has more to gain from a personal coach than just about anybody else I can think of. Coaching isn't mentoring. It's not advice from somebody higher up on the food chain. Having a personal professional coach is not the same thing as peer coaching or peer support groups. Coaching is certainly not new age mumbo jumbo. What coaching is, is a practical, proven, results-oriented process that's focused entirely on you. It's about your goals, your values, your challenges, and your success. A coach isn't there to offer answers. He's not there to tell you what to do. A coach is there to help you clarify your own goals and priorities. 
and then find and implement successful strategies that work for you. Speaking personally, I got into coaching because I did the research. Um, the studies are there, they show it works. I've seen its effectiveness with my own clients and the impact that it's had on their lives. Not to put too fine a point on it, as long as you approach it with the right attitude, coaching can help you get to where you wanna be. Now, in my own career, speaking personally, there were times when I dealt with the pressures pretty well, and there were times when I didn't. What I will say is that if I could go back and give my professorial self a single piece of advice, I'd agree with Eric Schmidt 100%. Get a personal coach. Now, I can't do that. I can't actually go back and give myself that advice. But I'm happy to say that I can offer it to others. As I said, welcome. I invite you to look around the site and see what I have to say. Uh, I've posted some answers to some common questions about coaching. I also hope that you'll get a little better sense for who I am and what I might have to offer you as a client. I wish you all the best, and I look forward to hearing from you and maybe talking about the ways that we can work together to help you make the most out of your life and your career. Thank you very much.